Hi world, hope you're all doing super super well. I'm really excited about today's video because it's something that I've never done before on my channel. Um, it's definitely something new and I love the idea of it. It is what I wore in a week in NYC. Obviously I do film what I wear in vlogs, you know, we discuss what I'm wearing and how I style certain items, but I specifically love this idea where it's dedicated to what I'm wearing, how I'm styling, it promotes sustainability and it actually shows how I actually wear my items where it's not just like constant hauls and I'm just buying, buying, buying and showing you what I'm buying and then it's like, hey, you bought that bag and I've never even seen you wear it. Like, no, it's actually like, hey, I bought this and this is how I'm wearing it, right? So I love that idea. Um, I've seen a couple of these on YouTube and they're super fun to watch. So. Let's get straight into it. It's really hard to tell the weather today because it was raining all morning and now the sun's out. So I don't know if I'm dressed up too much, but I'm not definitely not bringing a coat. It's still that sort of pre-fall weather here in New York and it's just kind of like changing. Um, it's raining. It's just sunny some days. It's cold at night. So it's just like that sort of thing, but I think I'll be okay. This is actually a new knit I'm wearing. I'm just going to show you. You can see there's a box there. Ikea happened a couple of days ago. Um, I have a new extension for my wardrobe, but need to build it. This is a new knit dress I'm wearing, and it's actually from a store called Misguided, which is a British... It's a London-based uh, online store, uh, super affordable, but I thought it was going to be cheap quality, so I was always a bit like, mm, do I want it? No. Um, but... I thought I'll give it a try and I ordered just like a couple of things that I needed and sweater dresses is such an easy go-to. They look good, they look chic and they're easy to style and fast as they're fast as well, especially when you don't know what to wear. This is always such a good um, good option. So this is what I'm wearing. It is a white uh, net dress and the fabric is quite thick and I kind of like the sleeves. It's stinched in here um, around the wrist, but then it's kind of got like a bubble sleeve, which I like. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It was hard to get this on, especially because I have foundation on and lip gloss. So, you know, I definitely had to do my hair after I got the knit on, but um, I kind of was like avoiding getting any makeup on it. It's a tricky color. It's white, you know, so avoid that as much as possible, but it seems to have been fine. And yeah, I love the lens. I love that it's not midi. I love that it's like a mini, um, still kind of like a boxy fit. As you can see, you can definitely style it with a belt and let me get my bag. Sorry for the noise, but this is the reality of New York. Um, I am styling it with uh, my Bottega Veneta bag in the green. I think that it just kind of gives it a pop of color and I love the color blocking with the white. It's, it looks stunning. It's so easy to wear as well. And I'm just wearing some basic stockings, leggings, whatever you call it. And most importantly, I'm wearing my Juvenge my Givenchy shark lock boots. I am so excited for the season because I get to wear my absolute favorite boots ever. These are my amazing boots. I have it in the gold hardware and I love them. I love them so much. This is why I've been looking forward to the fall this whole time to wear my Givon Vito, my Givon Vito, my Givenchy shark lock boots. They still have these particular ones in stores but they also have a new version which is also really nice the buckle is a little different and the shoe and the shape is pretty much the same but love them so this is the full look and i'll see you tomorrow for saturday's outfit happy saturday happy hello weekend it's halloween tomorrow night but it's saturday night and we're heading out to dinner we're gonna head downtown to the west village and this is what i'm wearing um so this is a full look of my outfit it kind of is cold um but not that cold where you need to be completely in a huge coat or anything like you can still get away with full clothing so let's go through it i'm wearing 
my beret, my leather beret. I love this beret. It's from Gucci and I had to kind of like um, search high and low to find this beret. It was sold out everywhere at all the stores and I got super lucky and I found it in the city. I'm wearing this jacket which is new from Uniqlo and it's super easy, kind of boxy fit but it goes with a lot of outfits. And then I'm just kind of wearing this lilac purple thin kind of turtleneck from Zara, just a Zara basic. This skirt is, I don't know what the fabric's called, but it's kind of like a velvet fabric. This is just um, a casual piece from Zara. It's just good for layering. Not from Zara actually, it's from ASOS. And I'm just wearing that with regular stockings and my boots are my new, what are they? The Paris, Texas boots. They're in 100 millimeter in brown. In I don't know, they're kind of different in different lighting. They turn brown at night, but then during the day they're purple. It's, yeah, it's weird, but I'm into it. And my Chanel classic flap. That's my outfit and I'll see you tomorrow with my outfit. Good morning world, happy Sunday. I actually just got dressed and I'm heading to a baby shower today and this is what I'm wearing. The gender of the baby is a boy so I think that this dress, it's kind of like a light green. I hope the light's not washing it out but it's kind of like a teal light green um, and I think it, it goes with the boy theme gender. It is from a store in Australia called Kukai. They have like all these like super tight elastic dresses and tops um, in every single color you can basically imagine. And I got this probably a couple years ago, um, but it's always so easy to style. I could wear it with like a net on top and just kind of use the bottom as the skirt. I don't know, it's so versatile, isn't it? And I'm wearing it with this cute little bag, which is my Fendi baguette in Sherling. It is Halloween today, but we went out last night, so we're definitely not going out tonight. Um, but I do have a baby shower to get to. I think that this bag goes well because, you know, obviously fall and it's not a bright color. I want the dress to be the color. And I'm just, I just paired it with my Christian Louboutin white red bottoms. They're the booties with the buttons. I picked them up from Barney's in 2019 and I love them. I think it just goes, obviously it's still, we're in fall, it's cold. I'm probably just going to wear this jacket, but I'll take it off when I get to the venue. But yeah, I just wanted to show you my outfit and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday and hope you enjoy your weekend and I'll see you then. Bye. Happy Monday. Today is the definition of a pre-fall day. You can probably tell from my outfit. It's basically fall and winter at the top and then summer at the bottom. And then again, <laughs> fall and winter at the bottom. I am actually headed to a local cafe to just kind of take my laptop and do some work. I'm probably just going to sit outside. It's actually quite nice outside. It's sunny. Um, I've got a t-shirt on underneath in case it gets a little too warm. But for now, I think I kind of need this and it's not too thick. I think it's appropriate. So let's just go through my outfit. This is actually a Prada knit that I purchased, I want to say uh, two seasons ago. And I still wear it, obviously. It's like brand new. It's great because I could wear it in the fall and also in the winter. I could layer it up and I love it. It has Prada printed here. It was a whole collection that they released. Um, you might recognize it. I think there was a pink one, green, blue, I want to say. And then I just styled it with some biker shorts. Can't go wrong. Like I said, I think it's a little warm for full length pants and I'm just going to enjoy you know, bearing my legs long as I can, whatever. And I just styled it with some sneakers. I'm just wearing my McQueen sneakers. The bag I'm going to carry is my Chanel Duvel. The reason is because it fits my laptop. So it's perfect. Let's pop that in there. I love it so much. It's a great size. I wear it, like I said, like I wear it to the beach, I wear it to the pool in summer. I wear it when I travel um, 
on the airplane with me and like right now I'm taking it to the cafe if it's my laptop I'm also I also take it to the park during the summer days it's fabulous and I love it and I love the handheld option and also I can wear it on my shoulder this is what it looks like on my shoulder love I love the color as well like it's very a neutral color but it also has a bit of color in it with the pink and the blue and then the orange Chanel um, it's just very me I love it um, and that's it that's my outfit and I'm off to the cafe I will see you tomorrow here is my full look so I am wearing this gorgeous skirt as you can see it comes with a matching jacket which I'm gonna place on I don't know if it's too warm to wear the jacket with it but I'm gonna show you the full look and see how I go I have to go downstairs and check the weather and then see how I feel but I'm gonna show you anyway they actually come together which I love and I purchased this a couple years ago honestly and I still wear it to this day I purchased it I want to say in 2019 and you know every fall and winter I wear it in the winter I wear it with stockings the jacket I wear it with dresses pants anything it's such a good go-to and it's I love the print on it and so easy to style so which I love so here we just have like this winter skirt it's a mini skirt and I'm just paired it with a turtleneck I hope it's not too warm for this turtleneck so this skirt is actually from Storitz it's an online store and this turtleneck it's merino wool from Uniqlo which they do the best basics best knits perfect investments I always pick up a pair I have this in black cashmere I get all the colors so this season I'm definitely going to pick up other colors as well and I'm just wearing it with like white booties which are these gorgeous ones, these this gorgeous pair that I bought from Louis Vuitton, they're red bottom and they're just the perfect hill height for me to walk in. I'm obviously not going to Central Park to hike, but you know, we're gonna do a cute little stroll, get some coffee and sit. But these are the shoes. I absolutely love them. I think they're stunning. And the back. This is with the jacket on. I love how it looks. It's so cute. And I decided to wear it with my Fendi, my mini Fendi baguette in shirling and painted leather. I think it like kind of it goes with the fabric. I didn't want to wear anything bright, something muted, but obviously shirling would do. And I think I'm just going to wear these sunglasses, which are, they're just, I think they're like $10 sunglasses from H&M. I love them. They're just so easy. And I think because my outfit is quite loud, I think that these go perfect. So here you go. Here's the full outfit and I love it. Okay. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today is a day full of running errands. Um, I've got a couple of things I wanna do. I also want to get my shoes buffed. Um, winter's just around the corner, so I kinda wanna just like get all my boots buffed and ready for the season. I usually like to do that at the start of the season rather than at the end of the season because they collect dust in my wardrobe. So I just want it to be like nice and fresh, glossy and ready for the insane weather we're gonna have in New York City. But let's go through my outfit. I actually already went and got my coffee and how do we like the holiday cups? I personally love them. I'll insert a photo of last year's cup I posted at home and I was like, do we not like this year's holiday cups? Like, I don't know, 2020 just wasn't it, but I really like this year's holiday cups. I think they're really sparkly. I just don't know why it's not focusing. Hold on, let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, that's the belt. But I think they're really sweet and they're sparkly and I love the glitter, the purple glitter running through it. It's so cute. 
But here is my full outfit. The bell rang, let me see actually who that is. This dress is a knitted dress from Zara. Is a knitted dress from Zara. I absolutely love it because it is like a thin sort of fabric a thin sort of cotton fabric and it's not too thick where it's going to make you hot or anything like that but it does keep you validly warm um so and it's just easy to wear and style and it just looks chic right so this is the full look and i just wait, let me get all my accessories on and then let's talk about accessories okay i'm wearing these lueve sunglasses i got them a couple of seasons ago love them just think it breaks up the dark colors that I'm wearing so love that I actually can link these I've seen a couple I've also seen them in gray which is quite nice this dress is from Zara in a navy they also have it in black and I want to say brown um, but I just can't resist navy can I I absolutely love navy um, and I just styled it with my uh, Dior saddlebag and this is in the blue oblique print in the size large I love it um, I kind of just need a hands-free bag and this is always a good option to go with and the boots i'm wearing are my Jivon vito rossi boots they've actually come out this season again i guess that's how popular they were last year i will link them as well and i'm ready for the day Happy thursday world i'm actually heading out i'm going to actually hit the stores a little bit i'm going to head over to fifth avenue i'm just in my comfies i'm it's actually not that cold today, which is nice. It's a little breezy, but it's still cardigan weather. So, which is crazy because it's already the first week of November. I remember last year was a lot colder, but, um, but we're just taking it as it comes, I guess. So I'm heading over to Fifth Avenue. I want to go to the stores. I, um, I want to pick up a new book I want to read. And also I want to pick up new bed sheets so we're going to do that today so i'm dressed a little comfortable because i do need to walk um but let's go through my last outfit today is thursday and i started this video on a friday so definitely let me know what your thoughts were which outfit was your favorite and if you enjoyed this video i personally enjoyed it definitely promotes sustainability using what you have in your wardrobe and showing you how i style the items i have in my wardrobe right so and it's fun <laughs> okay so here is my outfit i am wearing let's start from top to bottom so i'm wearing this gorgeous headband um this is a lily saduki headband it's denim and it's studded with silver studs absolutely love it it is very it's very bold so i don't actually feel like i need any jewelry earrings or anything like that i feel like it does a lot um and then i'm just wearing this cardigan which i love um it's a size small but it is that oversized look and it's in this beautiful the most delicious baby blue color ever and i bought this from and other stories it's a beautiful wool fabric so it keeps me very warm i wore it all winter as well last year and i was like layering so it's perfect that's kind of how it sits on me it's quite kind of long and oversized and then i'm just wearing like a basic tank underneath and these pants are from zara they've got the split which i like and i'm wearing my trusty Jivon vito rossi boots they're just comfortable and just so easy to style and i'm wearing it and i'm wearing my little what is this the bodega veneta in the green i feel like i'm having a little color blocking moment and i'm into it and i'm just gonna wear my balenciaga sunglasses since i'm not really wearing any labels and that's quite bold the bb for balenciaga so that is my total outfit. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, which one was your favorite outfit. And don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.